just getting off work, you know, and I just had to make a video. From the title of this video, y'all already know what we're talking about. It's the Sixers. Yes, it's the Sixers again. Now, I told y'all in my last video, I said, Sixers, don't get scared now. And what are y'all doing? Y'all playing scared. I don't understand why we are playing the way we are playing when we haven't played like this all season long. Every time we're faced against the Celtics, we start doing stuff that we never done before. James Harden going for 45. How long ago was that 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 happened? And then you go three for 23 in the next two games. You st I don't understand how these things happen. I don't understand why these things happen. But what this is what I'm going to tell you. And B want to get hurt again in the playoffs and he want to miss a game. Then he want to come back game two and look like a straight up bum. It's just not given. It's not given that you really want to win. If you really want to win and you know you want to win, you got to play harder. You got to play smarter. You got to be better. You just have to be. You, you got to be. Game three, you had a real good opportunity at winning that game. Y'all kept it close into the fourth quarter. And what happened? Y'all fell apart for nothing. Y'all play good defense. Y'all just miss shots. You missing wide open layups. You missing floaters. You missing jumpies. You missing threes. You turn in a ball over because you want to do inside bounce passes for what? I don't know. You're just doing a whole bunch of stuff that you know is not going to work, and yet now you want to do it. George Yang had to go crazy and score almost 10 straight for us to stay in the game. What is going on? This isn't no next man up scenario. This is starters. Cook their starters so we can move on. It's 2-1. You got to pray you you got to pretty much win 3 straight. I don't see you winning 7 in Boston. That's tough. That's really tough, bro. I was watching game 2 and I called for sweep and I put that clip in there. I was on the news and everything. And I came out looking like a nut, looking like a bum, looking like a fool. And I'm just trying to tell y'all Sixers Doc Everybody that's a part of the team, everybody that works in the back office, everybody that puts this whole entire thing together, don't let our season end like this. Honestly, it's not that we're fans and that we're going to be angry at you if we lose, but bro, you got to make it honorable. Losing by 32 is not an honorable loss. You know, if we play the same way we played game three, we'll probably win game four. We have to start just executing we have to wide open threes you have to execute and make them you won't win without them you can't keep missing all these shots and thinking that you're gonna win the game you know that's not how basketball works that's never that's never been basketball if you miss you lose they're not playing great defense we're playing better defense they're not outscoring us by outrageous numbers we're staying with them, and then we just start missing. It's not because of defense. We're missing floaters, Tyrese. We are missing wide open threes, James Harden. We're turning the ball over, Joel. We missing mid range jumps, Joel. Mid range jump shots. I mean, Joel is like, bro. If you're gonna be out there, then really be out there to hoop. If you know you're not out there to really hoop and really get busy, and you want to be out here curb stopping people. Then sit down, man. Now, I know the curb stop was an accident. I ain't lying, but it was crazy. I ain't never seen nothing like that. And yeah, you got to apologize for that one. That was tough. But, yo, everybody knows how we got to win game four. And if you don't know, if you don't know, I'm about to get with you. This is how we win game four. This is what we do. Game four, I'm about to get with you. Are you listening? Is your ears open? I'm going to make you believe. Game four, this is what we do. James Harden goes eight for 17. Three threes, that's nine. Then he got 11, jumpy. 13, layup. 15, jumpy. And then, and one. It's a dub. 22, layup. That's eight, 22, then four from the line, or six from the line. 
That's 20. Pff, let you know, make it 27 ish for Harden. Joel scored 33. So now you're looking at about 50, 60. High 50s, low 60s between both of them. You take Maxi for 15 because he's been playing poor. That'll get you at about almost 80, pushing it. You take Tobias for 12. 90 and some change. The Anthony Melton, he'll get you eight. That'll put you at a hundred. George Niang will give you two threes. That'll put you at a hundred and five-ish. Paul Reed for four points. That'll put you at 109. 109 will get the job done. 109 will get the job done. 109, 110, that'll get the job done for sure. 109, 110 will get the job done. Regardless of what the Celtics do, 109, 110 in Philly, it'll get the job done. It really will get the job done. I'm telling you, it'll get the job done. Now, if we go out there and we score less than 109 to 110, it won't get the job done. We're not talking about the defense that the Celtics are going to play. We're not talking about anything that was going We're talking about the base amount of scoring needed. Now, if we can get Anthony Milton to pop off again, then thank God. If we can get Tyrese to pop off, thank God. If we can get Tobias to take advantage of his mismatches, then thank God. If we can get Embiid to get a couple jumpies to drop, thank God. If we can get James Harden to find some heart, Thank God. Now, that's just outside the equation that I just added up. But that's a lot of factors that we can get to go to see if we can finally get some life back in Philly. Now, if we go down 3-1, we already know what that means. But if we tie it 2-2, just take it one game at a time. And one game at a time, you'll, you'll win. One game at a time, you can do. You already beat them once with no Joel Embiid. That tells you that they're not ready for you. That shows you that they're not ready for you. You already beat them with no Joel. You already did that. They had their starters and you won. So that tells you already everything you need to know. They was never on your level. So that's what we going with when we move forward in this series. They was never on the Sixers level. It was always a facade. It was a lie. They was just doing what they could while they could. Why? Because they scared of Joel because he's the MVP. And since we got the MVP, he going to play. Because that's what MVPs do. They play. So we going to win. I believe. Do you believe? I'll leave you all with that. Deuces.